Should we look at Griefels? Griefels is this weird European company. Uh, we can look at Recordati, it's this weird Italian company. UCB, this weird Belgian company, or Teva. But I gotta do one of these that doesn't have a file. Celtrion, Griefels, E-Size, Japanese company, Recordati, Shanghai Fosan, UCB, Teva, or SK. I don't know which one's the most exciting, that's the point. No, that's, that's the whole point, we gotta learn. We start the, maybe start the first one. We just start with Celtrion. Celtrion is like a biosimilar, kind of biosimilars company. These are Korean Wan. So Celtrion's weird because it's got like two, it's got like a subsidiary, I guess, I don't know. So this is Celtrion Inc. All right, so Celtrion, South Korean company, Jong Jin Xiao, the CEO, the richest person in South Korea. You would think it would be a Samsung person. Okay, so let's go to Celtrion's website because they have Celtrion Healthcare, which is a different company. It's a, I think it's a subsidiary, but it's got its own listing. Celtrion was really overvalued for a long time. Looks like the price has kind of come more reasonable. This is such a weird website. Like, I think the a lot of the financials are in Korean. IR documents. This is not exactly a uh, financial statements, but I'll take it. So these are Korean won. 600 billion Korean won is like 600 million USD. So it's not insubstantial, or is that a word? It's a decent sized revenue. Pretty good growth here. Hmm. Remsema is the big product. They have net debt, it looks like. 171 million net debt. The assumptions are dangerous. And logical conclusions. Very difficult. The more assumptions you make, the riskier your conclusion. Okay, so this is weird. This is non consolidated sales, which is less than the revenue they had before. I love these Korean accounting. Pretty impressive performance. They were like the first biosimilar for Remicade in Europe, so they've done pretty well there. Really impressive, actually. PD-1, I mean, PD-1 biosimilar is going to do really well. I mean, there already are PD-1 biosimilars in a lot of ways. I would argue to Centric and all these drugs are PD-1 biosimilars, but a PD-1 price war is going to be really great for healthcare, patients, bad for Merck, probably pretty good for Celtrion. What do you mean old Shkreli would hate PD-1? Why? I was around when PD-1 happened. I was around when PD-1 was in phase one. Why would you hate PD-1? It's a miracle. Yeah, PD-1 biosimilars. 
I mean, Keytruda can't last forever. Updevo is technically first, yes, by by an inch. So it looks like they still lose a little bit of money, but like pretty close to break even. All right, so 23 billion, Korean won. So let's see, it's a 16 billion valuation. So the won really is depreciated. It's actually a pretty good valuation. Biosimilars have been a bit of a tough space, but I mean, they're doing well. We'll look more at Celtrion down the road. 